Carrie. I am a recreation therapist that works for Life Therapeutic Solutions in the Stepping Stones program. Um, today's video is a seated exercise routine. Um, so basically all you'll need is a chair. I recommend um, a chair that has armrests so that you can use it to stabilize yourself in some of the exercises and also stand up a little easier when we're done. Um, and an open area to do the exercises in. Um, so again, these will be all exercises that we'll do while you're sitting down. Um, and some people like to exercise to music, so if you want to go ahead and turn on um, your favorite music while you're doing this, please do. So we'll go ahead and get started. want to make sure we're sitting up nice and tall in our chair. Take a couple big deep breaths. So breathe in through that nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one more big deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. All right, so we're going to start with our feet, kind of work our feet up to our head. Um, and we'll do each exercise about 10 times. So we're going to start by lifting our toes. Just lift those toes up, set them down. Lift them up, set them down. Perfect. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing with our heels. So just lift those heels up, set them down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to switch to a seated march. So I want you just to lift one knee up and then the other. Good. And if you want to add your arms into it, kind of go opposite arm, opposite leg. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can go faster, pick up the speed a little bit, or maybe lift your leg a little higher. side. Perfect. All right, then we're going to switch to leg kicks. So if you need to hold on to your armrest, you can do so. But we're going to just kick those legs out. Good. And make sure you stretch that leg all the way up as high as it can go. So you get a good stretch in those legs. side and then we're going to hold this leg up. I want you to point and flex those toes. So point the toes and then pull them back. Good. And holding your leg up, you might feel that thigh starting to work a little bit. That's okay. That's a good thing. But if it becomes painful, go ahead and rest that leg. Good. One more. And relax that leg. We'll do the same thing other side. So we're going to lift that leg up and point and flex those toes. Perfect. So we're just trying to loosen up those legs, those joints, that ankle, get those body bodies moving. One more. Relax that leg. We're going to switch back to the first leg, and I want you to try and roll that ankle around. Loosen up that ankle. Good, and change direction. Good, and relax that leg. Same thing, other side. So we're going to hold that leg up. Roll that ankle around, loosen it up. Good, and change direction. Okay, one more, relax that leg. Now we're gonna lift both legs up at the same time. So again, hold on if you need to on your chair. 
but I want to hold both feet up and I want you to just kick those feet in the air. So try your best to keep your feet off the ground. Don't touch the floor if you can avoid it. Pull them up. We're just doing little kicks in the air like we're swimming. Good, almost there. Three, two, one, relax. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do legs up one more time. And this time we're gonna take our feet apart and back together. So you can do it lower if you need to. You can go higher, wherever you're most comfortable. Taking those feet apart and then back together. Good. So you might feel those hips starting to kick in. Maybe your core is is starting to work a little bit, all good things. But again, if you're feeling any pain, go ahead and take a break. All right, one more. Relax those legs. All right, make sure we're sitting up nice and tall and let's take a couple more deep breaths. We'll breathe in through that nose and out through that mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, okay. Now we're gonna move on to a couple of core exercises. So if you are able to cross your arms like so, um, go for it. If not, you can keep your arms at your sides. Um, but we're just gonna do little crunches forward. So I'm just sitting up nice and tall and I'm gonna bring my elbows towards my knees. So I'm gonna do a little crunch forward and then sit back up nice and tall. Crunch forward, sit back up nice and tall. Good. So again, this is meant to work maybe your, your stomach or your core muscles, your, your back, all, all important muscles that help us sit upright and get up from bed and from the chair. So you don't have to go super far. I'll kind of turn so you can see I'm just doing a small crunch forward, sit back up. Good. We'll do one more. Crunch forward, sit back up. Good. We're gonna keep our arms here at our side, or our shoulders, and I want you guys to, again, sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna do a little bend to each side. So if you have precautions from your doctor not to twist or bend, make sure you're following that. Um, but for those of you that are able, this is a great exercise, again, to work your stomach, your core, your back, and your side. So we're getting a bend, sit up nice and tall, bend, sit up nice and tall. Good. And again, if you can't keep your arms crossed like this the whole time, you can keep those arms at your sides. Kind of reach, sit up, reach and sit up. Good job. All right, one more each side. And then sit up, beautiful. Okay, let's take a couple more deep breaths. So breathe in through that nose. Breathe out, breathe in, and out, and one more. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our arms a little bit. So the first thing I want you to do is make two fists and we're gonna punch up towards the ceiling. So I want you to reach up above you and punch that ceiling. Now this is a little harder if you have any shoulder injuries or range of motion difficulties. So if you can just give me a little bit, give me a little bit. If you can go all the way, go all the way. Just trying to stretch out those shoulders. Good. All right, one more. 
one more each side. Good, and we're gonna keep those fists. Now I want you to punch straight out. So punch straight out in front of you, like you're in the boxing ring. Good. Again, if you want to challenge any time during this video, you can go a little quicker. You can punch a little harder, but go at your own pace. Go at, at whatever is comfortable for you. Good. One more each side. And relax those arms. Shake them out a little bit. Okay. Next thing, I want you to keep two fists again for one more exercise. We're going to start with those arms down at our sides. I want you to curl those arms up towards your shoulders, bring them back down. Curl them up, bring them back down. So if you are really strong in your, your upper body and your arms, you could add weights to this. Um, I would say do that with caution. If you have weights at home and you're comfortable using them, go for it. Um, you can curl a soup can, you could curl a water bottle. Um, anything just to add a little extra weight if you're looking for that challenge. Good, so just curling those arms up and down. Let's do two more. Last one. Good, and relax those arms. Shake them out. Okay, the next one I want to do um, is some arm circles. These can be a little more challenging, again, if you have any shoulder pain. Um, but the goal is to have those arms straight out to your sides and we're just doing little circles around with those arms. So if you can't get perpendicular with your shoulders, you can go a little lower. Still, you'll, you'll still feel a workout here, but we're just trying to get those arms and shoulders working a little bit. So little circles around. So I'll kind of turn. I'm just doing a little arm circle here. Good, and change directions. So if you were going forward, you'll go backwards. Okay, so arm circles around, keep going, keep going. Feel the burn. Okay, for three, two, one, shake them out. Okay, the last arm exercise we're gonna do, we'll put those arms up one more time. But we're gonna have palms facing in front of you. So I want you to bring those palms together, then open back up, together, open back up. So again, this, this is a little more challenging on the shoulders and the arms. If you can only do a couple, do a couple. Um, if you can only open halfway, do halfway. But you, again, do whatever is comfortable for you. Good, we'll do one more. Good, relax those arms. Okay, the last thing we're gonna work on as far as exercises um, are your hands. Your hands are just as important um, as any other muscles, so we wanna make sure we work those as well. So if you wanna go ahead and start just by wiggling those fingers around, loosen those hands up. Good. All right, and I want you to make two fists, and I want you to squeeze that fist really tight. Hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and then you're going to open those fingers up, stretch them all the way out. Good. Again, make a fist and squeeze. Hold it. Good. Stretch those fingers out as far as you can go. And one more time, big squeeze on those fists. Give it all you got. And then stretch those fingers out. Good, wiggle those fingers again. Okay, then I want you to touch each finger to your thumb. So we're gonna go through and touch pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. So continue working your way all the way through. Um, if this is too easy for you, don't look at them. Maybe go quicker. You can also go backwards and forwards. We're really just trying to work all those little muscles in your fingers. Good, one more time through. Beautiful, and wiggle those fingers out one more time. 
Good. All right. So to end this video, um, I want to do a couple of stretches because stretching is just as important as exercising. So I want you again to sit up nice and tall and do a couple big deep breaths and think about relaxing your body. So we're going to breathe in through that nose and out. Breathe in and out. And then breathe in and out. Let it all go. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do, if you are able, I want you to try and bend forward towards your toes. So I want you to take those arms down the front of your legs. And we're just bending forwards towards our toes. Um, if you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Um, if you can only go a little bit, I'll take it. Um, but I want you to try and stretch out that spine and your hips and just give your body a different position for a couple seconds. So we'll hold it. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Good. And then come back up nice and slow. And then I want you to take those hands up towards the ceiling if you can. So reach up above your head. Don't forget to breathe, keep breathing. Good, and I want you to lean a little bit towards each side. Stretch out that side of your body. Good, same thing, other side, big stretch. And then one more time up towards that ceiling, as high as you can go, lengthen that spine. Good, relax those arms back down in your lap. Good. All right, then I want to focus a little bit on your neck today because um, our neck holds our, our head up all day and it's, it's a muscle, so we have to stretch that too. So I want you guys again to just relax that body and we're going to look up towards the ceiling and hold. Remember to keep breathing. Good, and then we're going to bring your chin to your chest. Same thing. Hold it here for a couple seconds. Good. Look up towards the ceiling and hold. Think about bringing that chin towards the ceiling as much as you can. Good. And then one more time, chin to chest. All right. Then we'll come back to center. Now we're going to look side to side. So we'll keep those shoulders relaxed. We're going to look to the side and hold it. Good, same thing other side. One more time each side, look over and hold. Think about trying to look over that shoulder. Good. And then back to center. And our last neck stretch, we wanna keep those shoulders relaxed once more. And we're going to think about bringing your ear towards your shoulder. So we're just going to tilt that head and hold it. Good. Same thing, other side. Good. One more time each side. Think about bringing that ear towards your shoulder. And one more time on the last side. Good, and bring it back to center. So that completes our seated exercise video for today. Um, again, for some of you, this might be difficult. For some of you, this might be simple. Um, go at your own pace, do what you can. Any movement counts and will help benefit you. Um, so again, if you need to make this more of a challenge, you can do more of each exercise, go faster, maybe kick or punch a little harder. Um, it's all at, at your leisure. So if you guys liked this video, um, please post a picture or your feedback or questions. I'd love to um, answer any questions that you guys may have. And I hope everyone stays healthy and well, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.